Hey everybody, what's up? Me again, Gabe Avery. Um, this is the second time I tried to do this video. It's really cold out here. My space heater's not getting it warm enough, and I am shaking like a leaf on a tree. So, I got, I'm holding the camera with both hands, trying to keep it super steady. I hate shaky camera videos. I'm sure most of you do too. There's probably one guy out there in the whole world that's like, Man, I love shaky videos! Wow! I'm sorry. Um, this is about the Pinktron paintball mask. I finished the mask. I want to sell that to the buyer. Um, I wanted to shoot this outside, but we got a really nasty storm going through right now. It's just a lot of rain and a lot of wind right now. It's supposed to get a, a lot worse as the day goes on, like 25, 30 mile an hour winds and a lot of snow and ice. Right now, we've already got this big old huge tree limb that came down. It smashed up the front porch. It's a big old tree limb. Um, I just want to do this video. I finished the... Sorry about that. That's my space heater telling me that it's too warm, which I think it's lying because I'm freezing. It's below 40. Um, no, it's, it's well below 40. Um, I did the license plate, you all saw that in the other videos, if you didn't, you should check that out. I finished the mask, the original deal was for the mask, the, the paint, the, the, the license plate was just a, um, like a test panel, just to let everybody know what it was going to look like, let the buyer know what it was going to look like, the guy who commissioned me. Because we've never done anything like this before. I can't find anything like this that anybody else has airbrushed. So we just wanted to run a test panel, and we did. It turned out okay. Um, well, this is the paintball mask, and we'll get right into this and show it to you. I hope you like it. I've spent a lot of time on this. It's been a week and a day since I got it in the mail. It's the following Thursday now. So... I think it was last Thursday. It might have been last Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it was last Wednesday, but it may have been Thursday that I got it in the mail. I think it was Wednesday. So anyway, I've spent a lot of time on this. I've tried several different ways to do it, but with this mask, it's really hard to lay this out the right way. I'm sure you guys can see that when I show you the video. So, I'll let you see that then. This is the Pikachu paintball mask. It's a JT paintball mask. It's a JT Invader, I believe it was, that we found on eBay. These right here are the vents. It's a thermal paintball mask. These here are the vents. I'm sure I'm shaking again. I am so chilly. These vents are really hard to paint over. It's so stinking difficult to paint over these vents. And for some reason, when you paint over them, they, they just, the lines just do not look as cool. I don't know why. The vents you can take off, they, they're hold on by like a single screw. Some of them have two screws. Hold the camera like this. Uh, they're hold on by multiple screws, some of them. And pop them off and everything, sanded them. But I was thinking while I was sanding them, it'd look better with, to paint it without the vents on. You know, there'd be a lot more options to paint it that way. But, it kind of looks just as good this way, it look, I don't know, I like this idea, I asked the buyer, and he wanted it like this, so, I think it looks really good, I'm not saying that it looks bad, they made a bad choice or anything, for my next one, I'd kind of like to try it the other way, I think it looks great either way, I haven't tried it the other way, but I know, I got a good decent idea of how it would look, so that's what the deal was with that. These vents are just a pain in the butt to paint over and make it look good. I had all these other lines that I was going to put in through here, but it just looks... With all these vents, it makes it look too busy. And it just does not look good to do that. It just... It really doesn't. This is the top of it. The emblem is on top, as requested. We was going to put a name on the top, but we decided not to put the name up there. I really want to get in and show you everything that's on it. So you got a decent idea of what's 
what's there and what isn't. Right here on the uh, doggle band, you got a white line on top and a white line on bottom. I tried to follow those white lines across with paint. They're not the exact same size, but it just kind of follows that out and finishes it. You got underneath the visor, I didn't paint a lot. This has a visor on it. I figured it would be best to leave the visor on it. And taking it on and off kind of messed up the paint. Most people who have a visor want to leave the visor on it anyway, so I didn't paint a lot under it. But I kind of got a little bit that goes under it here and everything. I got a dual band right here. Uh, continues all the way through the rest of the mask down here. Like I'm saying, though, these vents are everywhere. There's like seven or eight of them on the whole mask. And they just go everywhere. It was a pain to get those cut out around it and over them and everything. That was just a outrageous mess. But I think it looks good. I'm happy with it. I'm not into Tron too much. So I guess it came out with a movie. I That's painted right there, the VA. It's supposed to... You know, it's about to start Valken and just, you know, I thought that was a neat effect. Um, I haven't watched them Tron movies, so I'm shaking again, I'm so sorry. Um, if I was a fan of it, though, I really think I would like this. This seems like a really cool pattern, it looks really sharp. I, I can't even imagine how good it's going to look out there in the woods or on a field. I just... I think this will look really good. I'm, I'm really tempted to uh, paint Blacktron. Blacktron would be a lot easier. I really want to do Blacktron sometime. I'm tempted to paint Blacktron and do that for myself sometime on my video. Do on my mask, on my own mask. But this is a neat little mask. I tried it on myself and bopped around in it for a minute after it was done. And it's really good. If I can set this up here. You need to take really good care of this, being that it is custom painted. You can hold it and touch it and feel it and everything. It's basically painted the same way a car is. You need to take care of it the same way you would take care of a car. You know, don't pound on it. Stuff like that. Don't trip and smash into a tree. It can mess it up. It's okay to stretch it a little bit, just enough to get your head in there. But please don't just and pull wide open. You know, when you take the visor off, be very careful not to stretch it too much. You don't just, rawr, like, haul good. You know, rip the visor off of it there. Another problem I noticed, so to light off, get the flashlight out because so you can see it better. Oh, maybe. Right there. On the uh, goggles themselves, there's a spot right there, and there's a smaller one right there that was on this when I got it, and I tried cleaning them off, and they don't, I looked through them and everything, I put it down, looked through it, it doesn't mess with your visual eye line at all or anything, it looks like some kid got super glue on it or something, it's really weird, I don't, it does, I don't know what it is, I can't get it to come off. So that's that. Everything looks pretty good on it. I'm happy with it. I'll contact the buyer here shortly with the price and everything. I should upload the video, send out an email. I think this thing looks very nice and very sharp. Uh, thank you for this. Thank you for letting me do this for you. I'm really happy about that, and I appreciate it. I'm leaving for my mission trip Saturday, so I won't be able to talk to you after that until next year. And if you have any problems, I'll get back to you. Send me an email. Anybody wants one like this, let me know. Um, anybody that wants me to paint anything, let me know. Thank you very much. Um, one last thing, I got a few seconds left. I did a few bone collector license plates a while ago, and I didn't get them in a video. 
This one's slightly different. It's pink diamond plates for the females out there to get into hunting and stuff. And you got the deer peeping around over here. Good save. You got the deer peeping around over here. And it's this bone collector, and it's shh. I need to all get out. This one to stick that in there. Uh, thanks again. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of cruddy, but bad circumstances. I'm trying to rest this so I can get out of here and pack for my trip. Uh, thank you. Enjoy.